right, so uh, episode 11 of Tomodachi Game, second to last episode. Seems like the game is over? Manabu has yet to announce the winner, so there's still some sort of chance that uh, Group C might have won. I don't know how. Uh, it seems like K from Group K uh, had outsmarted Yuichi from last episode. For the first time, this guy has met his match, it seems like. Yeah, not sure how he's going to get out of this one, but uh, we'll see. Might be something crazy. Let's get into it. Wait, what? When did this happen? Whoa, did we skip ahead? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Here's the twist. There we go. That's not the only way to win? Wait, what? I pushed the give up button? Okay, really? So they didn't account for their own hider giving up? No way he threatened to torture him or something. Oh my god. Oh, he did threaten to torture him. It doesn't sound like he's actually punching him though. He could easily just be like punching the tree. He is punching him! Oh my god! Yo, Yuichi is crazy! He isn't really hitting me? No, no, he's, he's definitely hitting you. He's gonna break his arm or something? He practices- Oh my god, he's gonna break his shooting arm. Oh, that's a line you do not- His shooting finger? That's a line you don't cross, buddy. He actually broke his finger? What? Okay, Yuichi. See, this is what I was talking about. This is the difference between K and Yuichi. K is probably almost as smart as Yuichi, but he's not willing to go to those lengths to win the game. He's not as depraved. I'll never forgive you what you did. Yeah. You... Oh... Well, the game's over now, so you can take all of the punches he can get. I mean, let's be real, guys. You kinda... You kinda do... Let's be real, he kinda deserves that. He didn't break his finger. Mother... F he broke his own finger? Oh... My god... Okay, maybe he's not like a complete piece of shit. You don't have to settle for it. You, 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 you straight up lost. Oh, he's turning on him. Beat his ass. There, yep. Yeah, he said, get your ass to the next game. Y'all trash. I know he had fun watching this game. We did get to play one last great match together. Oh, that's so. You guys can talk about it more in the loser's pit. I push you off that cliff with that. <laughs> okay, that's based. I mean, he did say he's trying to take down management, so. <laughs> I will absolutely crush all of you. Let's go. That's what I like to see in here. Okay, so third game's clear. We're back in the squid game uh, resting area. Oh, so they put him back in the real world. Oh, that's cool. You don't really see that. Usually, if, once you enter the game or some sort of death game, you you stay there. What the hell is she doing? They've disappeared? Oh, that's not good. That's a lot. She's a, she's a bad person, isn't she? I mean, we know that based on everything that Tenji told us, but she probably took this opportunity to dip. Oh no, how the hell did Shibe ratted out his own dad? Did I start bullying him? Bro, are those nails on his chair? Something's going down? Uh oh. There's a body? What? Bro, what? And they arrested Shibe? Nah. 
I want a shield. Who is that? Shio's father? There is uh, some fishy ass, fishy ass stuff going on here. And I feel like she holds that fall. I just can't believe that Shibe would do something like this. You don't want to lose this What? Oh, is that a threat? Your threats aren't going to work? Oh. Okay, so now we got Yuichi going up against uh, Shiho and her dad. That's what's up. You only do it. God damn. Fucking roast. Oh, he's ending her life right now. People like you can't decide a single damn thing on their own. There's nothing more I hate. Oh my god, he is ripping into her. Oh, I don't know about all that, buddy. That's uh, it's pretty ruthless. You're a stranger to us now? Yo, could you be any more direct? I mean, I know he was trying to leave her out of it, but damn, bro. You couldn't have been a little bit more softer. Special Tomodachi game right now? What? Oh, God. Of course. Ugh. Here we go, bro. Goddamn management, man. They always have something up their sleeve. This one. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa, what is that? What? What is that ending? Okay, I uh, don't really know what that ending was right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we got so much this episode. I just, we got the conclusion of the third game. We got the stuff with them coming back to the real world. And now we got the setup for the next special game. So let's break it down into those three parts. So the first part, uh, Yuichi basically called up the hider uh, from Goop K. And this was when Hyakutaro was tied up and... You know, uh, Maria was going over to Tenji, running away, all that stuff. They were chasing her. And um, he ruthlessly uh, decided that, hey, man, uh, so I've got your friend here. He's on my team now. now I'm going to keep punching him until you uh, you decide to give up. And I didn't think he initially was going to actually punch him, but he, he, he did. He went through with that, but only to a certain extent. At some point, he, he he almost crossed the line, if I'm being real, trying to break the guy's shooting finger, which is something you never do. That's fucked up. He broke his own finger instead, but obviously the hider didn't know that, and he gave up. An interesting point to note is that although he did mess with their friendships and kind of turn them against each other a little bit by learning about them, by, by, by figuring out who on their team has the depth and turning that guilt against him he didn't really end up breaking their friendships and i think he, he he did that on purpose he wanted to push them to the point where they win but not so much that it would jeopardize their friendship and i think he and he makes this remark too when he says uh, if it was the old me i wouldn't have hesitated hesitated to uh do anything that i needed to to win so uh i really want to see a little flashback of how yuichi was when he allegedly murdered someone the next team moves on and gets sent to the shadow realm or wherever and uh we get a break so these guys get sent back to the real world obviously the people at the school don't like them they know that shiho or someone and probably a, a mixture of all their her friends helped her steal the money and uh, now they hate her for it she's really shaky uh i i obviously we know the stuff that she did to tenji and his family and uh, uh, just how shady everything around her is. So can't really trust her there. But something crazy happens with Shibe. Uh, apparently, Shibe might have killed his father, which is pretty ironic. Considering uh, in the second game, when we were still with the whole group, there was a lie that was told about Shibe killing someone. And obviously, he didn't do that. But now it seems like it's come true. But I still think it's a lie. And obviously that has to do with Shiho's father and him just being a shady character when it comes to this situation, but also when it came to Tenji's dad's death. So there's there's some pretty like shady cop behavior going on here. There's no way Shibe uh, has the balls or the or just the idea and thoughts to kill someone. And he did mention something about Shiho. 
um, before he got taken away. So obviously she's involved in a major way. I just think she heals Shady. I think her dad's Shady. And I think Yuichi is going to, now that he's going against her dad and uh, fighting against it, he's going to be able to bring this to light. But not before he takes part in this special game. So what brought this on? Yuichi, in trying to get Kokorogi to step away and not be involved in all of this, actually ended up, and I don't know how the management heard all this, they're probably monitoring them 24-7, but they heard all this and they're like, okay, so you have no attachments, you have no family, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kidnap one of your friends, and if you don't show up, uh, bad stuff's going to happen. <laughs> it seems like they pretty much make the rules up as they go creating special games whenever they want just to have fun now yuichi has no other option but to show up for the week win game uh, judging by that end seems like a lot of crazy stuff is gonna happen and yuichi better show up soon yeah it's it's interesting because we have let me let me actually see do we have one more so yeah it does seem like we have 12 episodes so it seems like next week is going to be the last one but i wouldn't be surprised if this was split up into two cores and we might actually get the second part somewhere the end of this year maybe fall or winter so we'll see but that's gonna do for this one if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like let me know what you guys thought about yuichi's uh dub once again no l's uh, and and what this next part of this show is going to transition into because we're in the real world right now and it seems like this new special game is gonna really challenge Yuichi since he talked a big game about not having any connections so maybe he'll actually face a challenge this time uh but yeah that's gonna do it and uh hit that sub button too to see more and i will catch you guys on the next one peace